Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday yesterday. Today is Friday, uh, December 4th, December 4th, 2020, and it is also day four. So uh, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to uh, wrap up this week and kick ourselves off into the weekend after today with a mindful minute. Again, letting go of the past, letting go of the future, noticing the blessings that are around us right here, right now. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Notice yourself. I want to invite you to notice that you exist. Think about your place right here in this space and time. Use your eyes. Look around for two things that are interesting to you. I'm looking at my desk. I see one thing that's really interesting. And I'm looking across the room and I see something else that I find pretty interesting. Also, use your ears to listen. What do you hear? The ticking of the clock, perhaps. And then take a breath in. And notice how your environment smells. You may feel like it might smell like nothing, but perhaps it smells like something. And finally, with your sense of touch, what do you feel against your skin? Even the temperature of the room, perhaps. Now then, notice how gravity is pulling you down. Get yourself situated. Allow that chair to hold you up. And I like to close my eyes. You don't have to. But let's go ahead and begin with our first breath in through our nose and out through our mouths. Now, if you're like me, I actually didn't think much about that breath. I want to pay attention to that breath again. Let's do that again. In. Filling your belly full of air, and then out through your mouth. Nice, slowly, and carefully. In. Out allowing yourself to sink into your chair. Notice your weight. Breathe, breathe in. Allow your shoulders to relax as you breathe out. And as you breathe in again, pay attention to it and what is around you. But also notice what kind of feelings you have today. Breathe out. Happiness, sadness, enjoyment. Breathe in again. Don't get caught up in why or what made you feel that way. Breathe out. Just notice that you just feel that way. And that's it. No judgment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, two more times, breathe in, fill that belly full of air, make it expand like a balloon, and then let it out nice and slowly, out through your mouth, one more time, in, and out. Now in a moment you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then slowly open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, not just in your classroom, not just in the cafeteria. I want to make a real, real special push, including the bus. Choose wisely 
in how you're going to make your day. And that includes the bus. Now, at this moment, please stand up and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can go ahead and have a seat. I want to thank you, those of you guys who join me in the Mindful Minute. I appreciate just having you come along and breathe with me. You know, I don't want to be the only person that really savors and and, and appreciates the moment we're in. Um, it's nice to know that you're joining me. I also love the fact that some of you who are not joining me have been respectful in allowing others to help uh, to, to, to help with the breathing for themselves. So I'm really, really, really proud of you for that. The other thing, too, is um, we have uh, uh, some expectations here at the school. I want to make sure that we review them. Number one, be respectful to yourself as well as to others. Also show that you're responsible for yourself and what you do and how you do things and what belongs to you as well as others. Speaking of being responsible, I want to talk about those iPads again. If you are airdropping, you need to stop. And I know I, this, this sounds like Mr. Lin's being stern, and I am, because we've reminded many of our students not to do that. Now, with all that said, I am smiling because I also know that there's a ton of you guys that are doing the right thing. And don't think that I didn't think about that and recognize that. I, I see you. I recognize you. I know that you're doing the right things. And uh, I want you to keep it up. You guys are definitely heroes here at Fort Zeller. Uh, if you're not doing the right thing, it's time to change and, and make that decision. Remember, the choice is yours. Make sure you're, you're doing the right things, especially on the bus. And finally, show that you're ready. Ready to ride the bus, ready to uh, go to school, ready to eat in the cafeteria. And don't forget, compassion is our character trait for the month of December. Showing kindness to yourself and others. And that also brings me right back to the bus. Yesterday, we had an opportunity uh, uh, to, to talk to a number of students who have been on a few of our buses. And unfortunately, we did notice that there were students that were not doing the right things, even when nobody was looking. And that really hurt my feelings. Uh, some students have lost their privileges and had their iPads taken. Uh, they can't take it home, for instance. Um, but as I was studying what was going on on the bus, I also noticed that there are some students that are not being kind to others. And again, the bus is when nobody is looking. You're not going to have Mr. Lin riding the bus most of the time. Same thing with your teachers. And your bus driver is paying attention to simply driving. So when, when I think about uh, the bus, I think that's actually an opportunity for kids to practice doing the right thing even when nobody is looking. And many of you guys are passing with flying colors, and I'm so proud of you. But I also know that there's some of you guys that are choosing to pick on others. And uh, I will be talking to a handful of you guys today uh, to address that matter. Um, we, there is no space for that. I'm expecting all of us to practice compassion, which is being kind to yourself, doing things that you would be proud of, and then also being kind uh, to others. For those of you guys who are not doing the right thing, remember, in the end, I do have to call home. I do have to talk to your families, and I'm going to expect that you guys own up to that. Uh, so if I do talk to you, remember, I am expecting honesty. That's my way of uh, knowing that if I can continue to respect you. You know we love you guys. Your, your teachers love you. Your classmates love you. But we are expecting you to show the best side of who you are. All right? So I can't wait to see you guys work on that. Uh, it is Friday. Let's make it count. Can't wait to see you guys around.